we're at a grave here now that's very hard to read uh, and I'll read the bottom bit to you because it is important. Also of their daughter, this is the Defoe grave and it's of their daughter Lillian Amy Harris Nee Defoe who died in an internment camp in Germany 5th of January 1945. Uh, with that name of course she was a Jersey girl but she married an Englishman called Rodney and they had a child together. They lived at St Luke's Villas uh, in the Parish of the Saviours and when suddenly all those of English origin uh, were called to the harbour to be sent to uh, internment to prison camp uh, because Rodney was English born they got the call up to go to and so they went and with those several hundred went into internment for the rest of the war in uh, Germany in Bad Wurzbach and I just want us to imagine for a moment because we of course know the end of the story which is uh, Thankfully, on May the 9th, 1945, we were liberated, and Europe was liberated, and so on. But when those group of people went in those boat transports into France and into Germany, they had absolutely no idea of what was going to happen to them and how long they were going to be away. They must have thought, we will never come back. Mercifully, the great majority of them did come back, but this lady didn't and she died of meningitis in January 1945. And maybe she would have got that even if she was in Jersey. But she stands and represents all those who went on that journey and also so many who died in camps uh, of illness because of the privations and the deprivations they faced. And so this lady who I know very little about is a real symbol of something important in the occupation. And once again, we give thanks for liberation.